Coming up on Mountain News at 6, three people are found dead inside a home in Madison County. And a mega hiring event in Pike County brings more than 40 employers to the table, hoping to bring more jobs to the area. Plus, we are tracking some more sunshine tomorrow, but showers are possible by Friday. Those details coming up as Mountain News at 6 starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. A death investigation is underway in a central Kentucky community after EMS responded to a home with unresponsive people. The Sheriff's Department in Madison County says drug overdoses are likely to blame. But as WYMT's Bill Pendleton explains, there's still a lot of questions about what took place. At 4 o'clock Tuesday morning, EMS units were sent to a home on Elmwood Drive north of Richmond. The Sheriff's Department says two women, 47-year-old Sherry and 39-year-old Yvonne Hammerley, were pronounced dead at Baptist Health Richmond. Ben Masters was also found dead inside the home. Three deaths in one residence. Uh, now, it's not, a, not something that happens on the regular. Police say autopsies will tell them more, but they say they do believe that drug overdoses are likely to blame. Once again, this is our initial preliminary investigation uh, that we are still trying to figure out more um, with this whole situation. It's tragic events. The area where this happened is a very large area, but it's also a close knit area. A lot of homes very close together. A lot of people knew these people and they say they were simply good people that were kind to everyone they knew. They loved their family and their pets. What led to their deaths will be part of a thorough investigation and deputies say it's possible others could be to blame for what took place. Yeah, we always want to try to investigate it to the fullest to determine where these substances are coming from because as we know, we want to prevent these type things. Police say because of that, arrests are possible. In Madison County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Police say the autopsy and toxicology tests are still pending. Now to a story just into our newsroom out of Pike County. One person is dead after a UTV crash. It happened early Sunday morning on Upper Johns Creek Road in the Kimber area. The initial investigation indicates a Polaris side-by-side -side went over an embankment and hit a tree. 38-year-old Kyle Harden was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. 34-year-old Michael Harden was pronounced dead by the Pike County Coroner's Office. A Southern Kentucky man is behind bars after a standoff with police. On Sunday, Pulaski County Sheriff's deputies received a call from a woman at a home on Dustin Lane saying her ex-boyfriend had assaulted her. The victim was able to get away prior to calling 911. After a warrant was issued for Thomas Stogsdill the next day, police went to the home. They found Stogsdill hiding. He was taken to the Pulaski County Detention Center. Police in Laurel County are asking for help finding a suspect who reportedly stole credit cards and cash. It happened overnight in a subdivision area three miles from London. Sheriff's deputies say several vehicles that were parked in the driveways were there illegally. If you have any information about the case, you're asked to contact the Sheriff's Office at 606-864-6600. The Sheriff's Office is also asking for any surveillance video you may have as well. A federal judge has upheld a $360,000 judgment against former Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis. A jury ruled last year Davis had to pay a same-sex couple and their attorneys for refusing to issue a marriage license to the couple in 2015. Davis later asked the judge to set aside the verdict, but according to the Lexington Herald leader, the judge has upheld the jury's decision, saying the plaintiffs demonstrated clear evidence of emotional harm caused by Davis's actions. After a few showers late last night, also early this morning, we are tracking some nice weather for this evening. A live look from the WYNC studios, tracking some sunshine, also some comfortable weather. Those highs today in the upper 60s to lower 70s, up to 67 for Jackson, 71 for Manchester, also in Harlan, and 72 over in Whitley County for Williamsburg at this hour. And this is all thanks to a cold front that will continue pushing off to the south and east. Now, there is no moisture with this secondary system, but... 
This will bring some more cooler conditions to wake up on Thursday. Lows are back in the upper 30s to lower 40s and possibly some patchy frost once again to wake up and walk out the door. We stay dry overnight also tomorrow, but that next rain chance is on the way by Friday. Not going to be a washout on Friday or on Saturday, but a few showers are possible. Another big story this weekend. Some warm weather is on tap. All those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. Cameron, thank you. Organizers with the Red Bud Ride in London have announced that a cyclist is dead following a medical emergency. Now, the most recent ride happened just last weekend. It takes place through three different counties, Laurel, Jackson, and Rock Castle. The battle over women's reproductive rights continues in Washington, D.C. The Supreme Court is hearing arguments in the Biden administration's challenge to Idaho's abortion ban. The case could determine whether doctors can perform abortions on pregnant women during emergencies in states that have banned abortions. The Justice Department maintains federal law requires that hospitals offer abortions if necessary to stabilize the health of emergency room patients. DOJ attorneys believe that even that even applies to states like Idaho that completely ban abortions. Now, of course, there are people on both sides of this issue here in eastern Kentucky. Appalachians for Appalachia Interim Executive Director Stacy Fugit is pro-choice. Fugit says women should have the right to abortion access. Criminalizing and lessening access to abortions and other reproductive health care does not actually stop the need for those things. Rather, it just lessens the access. And so it puts people in a situation to pursue unsafe abortions and reproductive health care. There are also folks that call themselves pro-life. Former Laurel County Republican Women's Club President Kay Hensley is in that group. Hensley says she does not agree with the idea of abortion access. I believe that life begins at conception. And from that moment on, that's a living being. Um, and, and again, we're put here to care for that being, not to kill it. Hensley says she agrees with the current Kentucky law that abortion is illegal unless the mother's life is in jeopardy. Funding has been secured for a project in Leslie County. Two million dollars will be used for Leco Park. A recreational complex will be built, resulting in four baseball fields, multiple concession areas, 70 RV spots, and an additional 20 camping spots for tent and car camping, among other things. Judge Executive William Lewis says it's one of the largest investments in recent history for the county. Construction on the baseball fields began earlier this year. A job fair in Pikeville brought more than 40 employers to the Pike County Library. WYMT's Buddy Forbes was at the event. So there are jobs, it's just a matter of people finding them. The Big Sandy Area Community Action Program and the Kentucky Career Center are working to bridge the gap. We're trying to bring the community together the job seekers and the employers. So it's like a one-stop shop. Hosting a job fair Wednesday to bring more than 40 employers to the Pike County Public Library. So today we are bringing in job seekers and employers from throughout eastern Kentucky trying to bridge the gap and help the community. So we want to bring the job seekers in to talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and do their interviews on spot, go ahead and get them hired and just try to give them something to look forward to. Workforce Director Jeff Hensley says it takes a lot of work and partnerships to host large job fairs, and his organization is trying to provide resources and assistance to not only connect people with jobs, but help them succeed. We help with resume routings, help people find employment, tuition assistance if you need training, uh, supportive services, you know, work attire, travel assistance if you need to get back and forth to work. Saying it is all about bringing the pieces to the table and watching them fit together. Seeing how everyone comes together, uh, we like to see them succeed and grow, you know, improve the quality of life. Helping the businesses and the employees thrive. In Pike County, Buddy Forbes, WIMT Mountain News. Well, the event saw a large turnout with a packed house when the doors opened and people trickling in all afternoon. The London Fire Department is giving out stickers that can make a difference in an emergency situation. The alert stickers are designed to show how many occupants are in a home. Homeowners can pick up the sticker at the department free of charge. Captain Brandon Wager says their main concern is keeping people safe. 
it's very key to us to know who's inside that home or structure because that's the first thing we want to worry about is life safety. Uh, and, of course, we want to make sure, uh, of course, everybody gets out and so we can do our job when we get there. Wager says homeowners should regularly update their stickers. He also says they should be placed in a clearly visible location of the home. We stay cool this evening, but a warmer weekend is on the way. Your forecast coming up. Plus, you've probably seen her work across the mountains. Meet a talented artist as we continue our East Kentucky Leadership Award winner profiles.